Please enjoy my instructional video on knee arthroscopy and partial medial meniscectomy. The meniscus is a cushion that sits inside the knee between the two bones. Here we can clearly see that the meniscus is torn and it looks like a piece of crab meat floating in the knee. The scissors are then introduced through the portals to allow for easy removal of the cartilage. Once the edges have been cut completely, a grasper is inserted into the knee to allow the fragment to be removed in one large piece. Once the fragment has been removed, a biter is used to smooth out the rough edges. It is important that the rough edges be removed to prevent any propagation of the tear after the procedure has been completed. Often this will leave debris in the knee and therefore a shaver is introduced to remove the debris and further smooth out the rough edges. Once I am satisfied that the meniscus has been smoothed, a probe is used to make sure that I have not missed a part of the meniscal tear. Clearly we can see that there is a piece of torn meniscus that had flipped underneath the remaining cartilage and would have been missed if I had not probed it. This fragment would have continued to be painful if it was not located. The shaver will now be used to remove the fragment from its attachment because the shaver is able to suck and cut at the same time. It is also used to remove any other debris floating around the knee that has been left from the procedure. You can see here that there is a small little piece of a torn cartilage left floating in the back that is easily removed by the shaver and a small rough edge on the femoral condyle that is smoothed as well. Once I am satisfied everything is done in the knee, I will probe the cartilage one final time, take a picture, and get the patient on the road to recovery.